Hello. This is how to teach your patient on how to use the acapella vibratory pep device. So with this, the first step is to understand this device yourself. The way this device works is that when the patient blows into it, inside here, there are two things. One is a device that vibrates. As the person blows out and this device is vibrating, those vibrations transfer down to all the airways, help to loosen secretions so that they can be coughed out. In addition to that, it provides a little bit of PEP, P-E-P, -E positive end expiratory pressure, that's the PEP. And with that, when you have to blow out against that little bit of positive pressure, it helps keep the airways open. So when you are explaining this to your patient, um, you don't want to use any technical terms. You can simply use the, the term to say it helps to loosen secretions so they can be coughed out. So when I go into my patient's room, my first step as I enter the room is to verify my patient. This is DeAndre Williams. I ask him his date of birth, 12-12-19-XX, and he verifies I have the right patient with the right date of birth. I'm going to teach my patient how to use this device, and I'm first going to explain why he's using it. It's used often with patients who have retained secretions, like patients with COPD or pneumonia or bronchitis. And you're, the patient's going to use this, I explained to him, to help loosen those secretions so they can be coughed out. Then I'm going to have my patient sit up. If the patient get up, get up in the chair, that is best. If they cannot, a high fowler's or a fowler is okay. When my patient uses this device, the first step is on the bottom here, there is a little dial, and the dial can make it easy or light. So you can turn the dial so that it's easy or turn it so that it's very difficult to, to breathe out against. So when you're first time using this, make sure you have it set on the one or the easiest. As the patient gets better and more proficient, then you can change it to be more difficult. Instruct your patient to take a nice deep breath in and then to hold his breath and then to put the device in the mouth, make a seal with the lips on the mouthpiece and then to blow out at a moderate speed. When the person is blowing out, it should be about three or four times longer than inspiration, at least about three or four seconds. Then the patient can take a break and they can do it again. A breath in, big breath in, hold the breath for two to three seconds, put the device in the mouth, make a seal, blow out, not too fast and not too slow, about three to four seconds, and then rest. After the patient has done this a few times, they can try to cough. They use what's called a huff cough. A huff cough is like blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. So the patient can even hold their stomach if they want to, and they take a breath in and blow up. This is to help loosen those secretions so that the patient can cough them out. Um, the patient will do this about 10 times and then cough, and then how often that they do this uh, per day is dependent on the prescription from the physician. Some will say to try to do it 10 times every hour. Others will say to do it 10 times a few times a day, maybe two or three times a day. It will depend on the patient's condition and on the prescription from the healthcare provider. So that is all for how to use the acapella vibratory PEP device.